Hey everyone, so today we'll be going over some SAT math questions. So this is a little different format than our usual videos and I have a different setup too. I'm going to have to write without my stylus, but we do what we can. The question says the cost of renting a backhoe for up to 10 days is $270 for the first day. And then it is a additional $135 for each additional day after that. Um, up to 10 days. So which of the following equations gives the cost y in dollars of renting the backhoe for x days where x is a positive integer that is uh, less less than 10 but it can be equal to 10. All right so let's look at our options here and the first one I want to cross out is c because c seems like the obvious answer um, because you start off with $270 um, on the first day and then the it costs $135 for each additional day so you might think that it's 135 x as a slope um, which it is but there's something else you have to consider so if you think about it why is the cost in dollars and we know because it tells us it's $135 for each additional day so each day is going to cost $135 and it says the uh, renting the backhoe for x days so x is represented by the number uh, x so it's 135 x but now we need to find the y intercept and we already said the y intercept is not 270 dollars and to help you visualize this visualize this let's say x was 10 right so it'd be 10 days so what we get is 10 times it's kind of hard right 10 times 135 right so this would give us 100 i mean 1350 all right so that's a very large number um however it's missing one thing because we know here it says it costs 270 dollars for the first day so if you think about it if it's 270 dollars for the first day when we accounted for the 10 in our rule we only paid 135 dollars so in reality, we only paid $135 of our intended $270. So we can do 100, I mean, 270 minus 135, and that gets us 135. And so we know that this is the unpaid amount, and so we need to add this to the end of our rule. So it's 135x plus 135. And so our answer is choice D.